the Joe Rogan experience. Speaking of spooky cardio, let's talk about Tony Ferguson. <laughs> Okay, that guy's got some guy, and you you have personal experience with Tony Ferguson. Yes, that, yes. That guy has some unfortunately, spooky, <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, he's, he's got spooky fucking cardio, man. And um, I, I give him a real shot against Khabib. I give him a real shot. Okay, so um, I do and I don't. I, I and I'm not, I'm not I'm not trying to take a dig at him. I actually am a big fan of his. Okay, and I was a big fan of his before I fought him, and I did a lot of research on him uh, leading up to the fight. I never really showed him any respect up until like, ah, he's just okay, he's a little sloppy, he's this, he's that. But once I did the research on him leading up to our fight, I, it impressed me. What impressed me was, dude, the guy can take a shot, give a shot, the guy doesn't slow down, the guy doesn't care where the fight goes. Anytime you have somebody who doesn't care where the fight goes, it changes the dynamic of how you approach him. Because if you take him down, what does that matter? He don't yeah. care. He he's, yeah, he's good with the darts. He's good with the guillotine. He's good with trials. He's good with all those. He doesn't care. So if he stays on the feet, guess what? He keeps his distance and his range with his long range push kicks and his, and his jabs and his you know combinations. He doesn't care where the fight goes. Neither does Khabib, but obviously Khabib would like to keep the fight on the ground, press against the fence, doing work, what he's done, and it continues to work and does, does what he does best. I, I, I look, for me, I feel like the only way that Tony wins is by a cut. Mm, I don't think, I don't think, I, I don't think that he can sub him. Now, I'm not saying it can't happen. We, we understand like when cuts happen, you get a little more slippery, things slide in a lot faster, mm -hmm. okay? Um, especially in that Darce position. Like, mm -hmm. he's really, he'll hit that Darce up from any direction. He'll hit it from, he'll hit it from his guard. He'll hit it from his butt. He'll hit it from anywhere. Yeah. So if you're hanging out, if Khabib doesn't put the placement of his head in the right spot, it could be a really, really tough night for him. Yeah, he hits from it from side elbowed, control. Yeah, you're from being elbowed control and from him. being choked. Yeah, yeah. So he's got uh, all the intangibles to become world champion. I don't, I mean, he's already a former, inter the interim champion, which I still considered him, he was the champion at yes. the time um there i have nothing bad to say about him i just think that physically strong he is not and i and i don't want i'm not knocking him i'm just simply saying strength wise he is not but joe here i want to shake my hand his hands will go around yours probably twice just bricks he, he no he's got such yeah. long fingers that's what threw me off honestly when i shook his hand at the weigh-ins his fingers wrapped all the way around my hand almost engulfed my whole hand i was like Oh shit! You got really big hands. <laughs> well, that makes the power. No, not just that. But when I when he, there was a moment wrist there where control. he had yeah, wrist control. So when I got into his guard, he grabbed my wrist and I couldn't get my arm free. And then in the meantime, he's elbowing me in my head, oh. and I got two Mercedes Benz cuts right here on the front <laughs> of my forehead. Okay, so it was like right there. And mm -hmm. then he cut me with the good elbow when I stepped in on one. But the two Mercedes Benz cuts were from him with wrist control and him elbowing me from his guard. Mm. If Khabib gets put into his guard, it could end up being. A a tough fight because mm. cuts cuts happen and when they do happen and you have a shaved head there's nothing stopping them from flowing right into your into your eyes right your eyebrows are not going to stop all that blood and right. if you recall remember the joe daddy stevenson and eads edwards fights that shit was just squirting out mm -hmm. you know there's an adam piccolotti fight as well in bellator where the, he had cut the guy on the top of the head and literally he gets a rear naked and chokes him and you see blood go mm -hmm. everywhere yep. and i'm yeah. just thinking to myself in a fight where you you know you shave your head or your head's your hair's always really short or it's you know it's it's not going to look good to the to the judges or to the doctor and things like that and and by and like Shaw brought this up this fight's in New York yes with that fucking lame ass doctor that stopped the Nick Diaz fight <laughs> yes the yeah. lame ass doctor this is oh yeah oh he's got a vagina on his eye no one gives a shit like the right. guy can still fight right you know um they're just they're being extra cautious in New York right now because it's a relatively new sport is what I believe I believe too. you know and then I believe they had that death of that boxer that was there so then that it just they're just trying to make sure which I understand like the safety of the fighters yeah. is most important yeah I would prefer that being in Vegas yeah yeah I would yeah. prefer in Vegas they'll let shit go. <laughs>